Stevie Fast Jackson KTR here with another episode of the Fast Lane presented by Holly EFI. We're going to dive into some of the tools that I use to tune the world's quickest and fastest door slammers. Whether you're a novice who has never worked on fuel injection before, or you're a seasoned professional that tunes race cars for a living, Holly has an EFI system that's tailored to your skill level. Today we're gonna show you how to open up a basic global file, uh, add nitrous configuration to your toolbox, and then we're gonna talk about dry fuel delay. Dry fuel delay is something that a lot of people don't understand. Uh, even if you guys have some bootleg government grade children's EFI systems like some of the stuff that's sold out there, this will help you. Um, we're going to work in V5 today. We're just going to go to file, global file. We're just going to open up a, a test folder that I have here. This is just basically just a boosted file. As you can see right now, it doesn't have a nitrous configuration. This right here will do any, add any individual configuration that you need, whether it be boost, uh, advanced tables, anything. You'll just go to add individual configuration and uh, you can pick from anything. Fuel, idle, nitrous, sensor, spark, system. Some of the stuff's already loaded. We're just going to add a nitrous folder. It's going to see what we want to start with. We're just going to start with a single stage dry nitrous system and now you'll see at the top that the, the nitrous bottle is there and selected. Uh, we'll go to that and our first stage uh, it's activated. If you want to add more stages, you'll activate them down there. We're going to go over some of the specific software stuff throughout different episodes of this. Today we're going to focus on dry fuel delay. Now dry fuel delay, V5 uh, runs two different types of fuel delay. Dry fuel delay and then dry fuel delay ramp. Both of these are critical. This is something that we kind of learned in our early days of pro nitrous racing. A lot of people understand that dry fuel delay is the, the delay in time that the fuel injectors enrich the engine with added fuel for the nitrous system. What they don't understand is that the ramp of that, the rate in which the fuel curve hits the engine drastically affects how the engine responds. We noticed pro nitrous racing that every system is different, how it hits the engine is different, and each system needs to have an adjustable dry fuel delay and a dry fuel delay ramp. Now this is kind of uh, complicated because you'll notice right there, right there where his dry fuel delay, it says zero milliseconds. Millisecond is a thousandth of a second. So a hundred milliseconds is a hundred thousandths. So kind of get the, you know, get that stuck in your head. It makes it a lot easier. Now every engine combination is different and there's no magic number here. Uh, I have cars that on the very first system, I run zero dry fuel delay. I have cars that I run 200 thousandths of dry fuel delay. It just depends on the, the system how much uh, nitrous volume is on the first system, things like bottle pressure and your base fuel map dictate that. When we used to run carburetors, you didn't have any of this stuff because the mechanical time that it took the fuel to get from the fuel solenoid, which oftentimes would be mounted 10 inches or more away from the runner, the time that it would take the fuel to get from that solenoid to the, to the backside of the fuel jet and into the intake manifold, that is your dry fuel delay. Now, when we have a processor as good as Holly does, and we can add fuel at the fuel injector, um, slowing down the fuel curve and when it hits the engine is very important. So on a standard car, we'll say we'll just start out with, with 75 thou of, of, of dry fuel delay, 75 milliseconds. Now your dry fuel ramp is the rate in which that comes in from the time it hits, the fuel that's in the base fuel map, along with your added fuel enrichment, this got 60 pounds an hour in it. This is not a real number. Everything I have's got at least 200 pounds an hour in the first kit because we like to leave on like some 46 kits. But basically, if you were going to hit that 60, and just say you've got a flat 60 in there from 2,000 to 9,500, that fuel delay at 75 thousandths after that system is activated, that dry fuel delay is going to start, and then this ramp is going to be the ramp, the time that it takes to get the full boogie. So we'll just say 100 there. A lot of stuff is 25. If you see your car go out and you got some stinky looking nasty orange flames like some of you do and the people of you that have some stinky nasty orange flames know who I'm talking about. You might want to look at your dry fuel delay. That's how you get them 
man gorilla flames, get the candles lit up when it goes by the tree, and go out there and set that nitrous world record. We're gonna open up on our YouTube channel a special segment of YouTube Q&A specifically de dedicated to Holly EFI. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the like button, feel free to comment with your questions, click on the bell icon. That's gonna let you be notified as soon as we release new content so you don't miss anything.